This is lesson six, the last one on market research, and we're still looking at how companies can use research to be competitive. Just a reminder, Mario introduces the new topic to you. Peach reads the text to you. Yoshi gives you your checklist. Donkey Kong gives you the unstuck moment, gives you super stuck because his tie, if you remember, says OK, especially if you look at it with one eye closed. Daisy's nice and helps you out. And Luigi sets the tasks for you. The learning intentions for this lesson are to understand availability of products and their USP, unique selling point, which is the new knowledge, the skills, to analyze how availability of the products and the USP of the products helps them be competitive. That's the company being competitive. Application means we're gonna take that knowledge and apply it to a company, a case study scenario. And we're gonna look at a shop that sells amber jewelry and restaurants we all like to eat. Here's your list of tasks for this lesson. There are five of them. Uh, we've got three questions about loyal customers, availability of products table, a unique coffee brand. That's where you've got to dig around and find something. Go shopping. The amber shop analysis and who you think is the most unique restaurant in Shropshire. So back with Mario, this is about understanding competitors and it's Going back to uh, the mind map in the middle where we looked at the main features of how to be competitive. We looked at the, um, the green areas first, price and quality. And then we looked at the, uh, we, well, we're now looking at rather the blue areas, unique features or selling points, always shortened to USP and the availability of the products. Handing over to Peach's job. Here we go. An enterprise will always need to keep an eye on what its competitors are doing. Market research. So that it is less likely to lose any of its own customers to them. And so it knows how to improve itself so that it can continue to be successful. So basically, market research isn't a one off thing. They keep doing it. Next point, enterprises need to be competitive. And that's the diagram that Mario just introduced as a learning uh, concept for you, the mind map again. Well, now let's break it down a little more. We're looking at these two blue areas, USP, that's how I'm gonna call it now, the pale blue, and availability of products. And we're gonna look at from a customer's point of view about being loyal. We're gonna see how these two blue areas and the phrase loyal customers link together. Here's a peach moment for you. Availability of products, what does it mean? It means about products being in stock. It means about uh, a company having a short, fast delivery time so customers can get the products. Availability of services mean that the service is bookable at the time the customer wants. And the last point, the service is easy for the customer to book using a website or the phone. And a little helping hand from Daisy over in the right hand corner. The availability of a product is a major element when an SME is hoping to build a loyal customer base. Think about it. If the products in stock or short and fast delivery time, if the service is bookable when the customer wants, they get the customer is going to like that bit and they're going to keep coming back because they know that they're going to get their products. So if you, if you can get a customer to keep coming back, they're being a loyal customer. And if you can get them coming back because you've always got stock in and you're an easy company to operate with, guess what? They're going to keep coming back. Let's explore this reasons to be a loyal customer. Luigi giving you the first question. Some customers are very loyal. This means that they will wait for something to be offered. Can you think of a retailer who has a very loyal customer? You can write your answer in the, over the blue writing underneath where Luigi is. Oh no, there's Daisy here for a question. I think they're losing the plot, these characters. 
So here's Daisy's question. Other customers might not see a reason to be loyal if what they want is not available when they want it. Give an example of when that's happened. When you know of a product that's not available from a usual shop, so people have gone elsewhere. Write your answer over the blue writing by Daisy. Oh no, it's the invasion of the Mario characters. Here's Yoshi, out of place because he's normally just about to check this. Um, he's got a question. Some products are made to order as they are very large, so they're not held in stock and the customer has to wait a lead time. Imagine doing yourself some um, uh, inverted commas. That means time between the order and receiving it. Name a type of product where customers have to wait because it's actually made to order and write down the company who, which sell it. In the blue box, next to that rogue Yoshi. Some companies spend money in advance to ensure they always have stock. Some can't afford this, so they may lose customers, as loyal customers can't wait, and new customers never even try. That message was from Peach. Your job is to complete the table. You've got the questions in the left-hand column, and then you type in your answers in the right-hand column, says Mario. Question one. The benefits of an SME of having high levels of stock available. What are the benefits? Write it in the right hand column. Question two, the drawbacks of having high levels of stock available. What are they? Guess what? Write them in the right hand column. Question three, give examples where high level of stock are actually essential for the SME to have. Guess what? Write your answer in the right hand column. Question four, Low stock levels are important in some respects. How can an SME, a company, ensure customers are not dissatisfied if they have to wait? To answer this one, you've got to work out what kind of product has is kept at a low stock level. And then when you know the product, you can then think of a company or an SME that sell it. And then you can work out what they do to keep customers happy in that in-between time and write your answers in the right hand side. Some customers are willing to wait for the product because it's not available anywhere else. They want a specialist service. Give an example of one of these type of products. A message from Luigi. What was the point? Why am I here? I'm supposed to read out the questions. What's going on? Let's calm it down a little bit with these uh, silly Mario characters. So here's um, Peach reading out what the net, where we're going next with our tasks. Some goods and services are unique because of the features and selling points they have. For example, Roxeter Roman Villa in Shropshire or coffee. Yes, that's the hot drink, which is available anywhere. So we're looking at two very different things. There's the website for Roxeter, which I've found for you. Coffee, I think you can go off and find for yourself. So what's it all about? Being unique means offering something no other businesses supply. Being the only enterprise in the area selling that particular thing, offer a new twist on something pe people already know. What does Roxeter offer that's quite unique? What makes them unique from any other kind of museum? Let's not deny the fact that it is a museum but anyway your task is coming next luigi the task find a coffee brand which you think promotes itself by using a unique message or they describe unique features about their coffee write your answer in the blue box on the right the amber shop in southwold that's over there on the uh, right hand side as you're looking at the uk just underneath norfolk right at the bottom down there if you want to know where southwold is if you still don't believe me stick it in google maps and have a look yourself right anyway visit ambershop.co.uk click on the link it works have a mooch over on that particular amber shop website and now your job is to answer these questions I'm not giving you any preamble on this one. You'll actually find as you go through it, there is something quite unique about Amber Sharp. 
and you've got to write the answers down in those five boxes. So we've got a question on what they sell, number one, what's special about what they sell, what is the museum, hang on, there's a clue, what is special about the museum, hang on, there's a clue to the uniqueness. And number five, is there anything else like this anywhere else? So that's about you finding maybe a place like the Amber Shop, a place like Roxeter, something as unique as that where they um, with what they can offer customers. And your final task, the most unique restaurant in Shropshire. Do some research. Find the most unique restaurant in Shropshire. Number one, where is it? What do they offer for terms of food? Number two, what do they offer in terms of features? Now, that's where you might have to have a look at their website in terms of decor, seats, disabled access, anything you can find. Why is it special? So that's your, what your opinion is for number four. And which company offers something similar? So that's about you finding its potential competition. I tell you what, though, when all of you have found out this information, I think we can then open up a Shropshire Best Restaurant Guide, maybe a little bit of business, maybe sell a little guide. Who knows? That's it. You have finished lesson six. You have done all your five tasks. But guess what? You have actually finished the learning for learning aim B. Da, 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 da. have done all the learning that's needed for market research what we face now is the coursework <laughs>